Hi everyone, today I want to show off my kit bash of striking scorpions. Um, these are, this is what they are. I'm quite happy with them, um, and you probably want to know how to make them, so let's get into it. Um, first is the body. The body is um, from the Incubi set. Uh, obviously these ones are a lot more spiky, so remove the spikes, remove the heads, the things that have on their backs, um, and the large dangling armor plates they have between their legs and on their butts. Uh, because big dangling armor plates are not stealthy at all, and scorpions are supposed to be stealthy. Um, also, uh, we've got better uses for them, uh, as you can see. It's a hand guard there, and the back of the helmet of the uh, XR. Um, so yeah, then you have a nice scorpion looking um, piece of armor. Um, add uh, Shokum pistols from whatever you have. Uh, this one is from the uh, Harlequins, this one's from Dire Avengers, also Dire Avengers. Uh, <laughs> this is, um, also Dire Avengers, but it was a Shokum catapult that had been uh, uh, sawed off. Um, and this one doesn't have any. Uh, I did put one on his hip at first, but didn't like how it looked once painted, so removed it, replaced it with a pouch. Um, then the other major thing is the head, which comes from a guardian kit, like this one. You take a foul and you cave in his forehead by filing it down. Um, it's pretty quick, pretty easy, and looks quite like Second edition, or Rogue Trader, I believe, actually, uh, Striking Scorpions, which I like better than the current ones. Um, you're gonna have to add some many blasters, use whatever you have. Um, I used some plastic cards, but you could use like a deck, perhaps. Um, though if you do, I would recommend filing down the points, so you don't hurt yourself and bleed all over the models whenever you pick them up. Um, other major thing is the uh, chain sword, of course. Um, the hilts of the chain swords are just the incubi swords. Again, with any uh, pointy bits, though I don't think they have any uh, thought of. Uh, they have a few, uh, few uh, incubi symbols that I've removed. Uh, and after that, you uh, snip off the blade and attach. Uh, bit of square plastic card rod. Um, <coughs> then make a nice point to them, just uh, sand off the edge into a round, well, round it off. Um, but you need teeth, right? So how do you do that? Well, it's a simple case of putting some green stuff on them and making something like this to imprint the, uh, the teeth into the blade, like this. And then you, um, with, a, with a hobby knife, you can uh, remove any excess that uh, spilled to the sides. Um, what this is, this is just again, a piece of um, let's cut profile with a half round profile glued on repeatedly next to each other. The advantage of this is that it's pretty consistent. You don't get teeth that are wildly different. Uh, first few attempts that I did do uh, just by cutting triangles into a bit of plastic art sheet, uh, they, they look way too inconsistent. Uh, that, that doesn't look good. If you have, a, Maybe if you make something orky, <laughs> that'll be good, but for Eldar, definitely no. Um, yeah, it doesn't look as good as the teeth in official plastic models. Uh, if you're a 3D printer, you can obviously do better uh, because the, the, the shape is simple enough using Boolean operations, but <laughs> with green stuff, it's, um, it's a different case. Um, funnily enough, these teeth look a lot more like uh, the old metal, uh, metal sculpts from, I think, third edition that I have. Uh, I hope we'll get one. There it is. These teeth also not as detailed as uh, <laughs> as what we have in chainsword right now. If you can find a chainsword that fits, then uh, go for it. 
But looking at the conversions other people did, uh, particularly Pete the Wargamer, I thought that it wasn't a very good fit for uh, Scorpions, just uh, too boxy or too big. Uh, not, not the kind of, um, well, almost elegant, if, uh, if a chainsword can ever be elegant, um, weapon that an elder would use. Um, I view other things worth noticing is that you have you have to trim down the um, neck protectors as it were of the armor otherwise the head just won't fit. Um, even despite that I did um, put a bit of green stuff to um, raise the head a bit uh, otherwise you cannot turn it like, uh, like in this one. Uh, you'd only be able to have it straight forward yeah, despite cutting uh, the collar down. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, quite an easy fix, but you have to be aware of it. Uh, as a result, they stand a little bit taller than a guardian, but not by much. Uh, like you don't really notice this on the table. Um, yeah, that's... Um, that's all the major stuff covered. Um, I did add the Guardian um, thingies on their backs to make them a bit more craft worldy rather than uh, Drukhari. Um, sculpted the tassels on the legs and arms as is traditional for Elder units. They have the three and three, the scorpions. Um, well, obviously the ammo and grenades, which I do believe they have taken from either Guardians or uh, Dire Avengers. Uh, the pouch is something I sculpted myself. It's a lot easier than you might think. The, there's a good tutorial by Tom Mason about how to do it, which I followed, and I'll post it in the um, video description. Yeah, that's about it. Um, the Exarch obviously has a few special things. The helmet is not from a Guardian, it's from the Dire Avengers Exarch. And the, well, the back, as I said, is one of the uh, butt plates, <laughs> or perhaps the front one, I'm not sure. Uh, one of the dangling plates that comes with the NQS set and the front is just sculpted with green stuff. Also a lot easier than it looks. Um, yeah, just put it uh, in there and use any, uh, any edged tool really to... Um, yeah, I don't have any one on hand. Uh, use any edge tool to make the ridges. Um, it's not hard. It really isn't. Uh, which was a nice surprise because maybe I'll go sculpting a um, Phoenix Lord with that. Uh, I don't know. It sounds interesting. Uh, arms also are from Dire Avengers. This one was a bit uh, thicker arms as a result of that, which I thought was uh, was fitting. Um, yeah, the. Um, Incubar kit, really nice for this. Um, like they even even make sense in lore, and they even come with the little striking scorpions uh, shrine. So yeah, they're pretty much perfect. Um, let me know what you think of the video. Uh, if you've made them yourself, definitely let me know. I'd love to hear that. Uh, if anyone thought, yeah, that's a good idea, I'm gonna do them as well. It would make me really happy. Um, yeah, let me just know what you think in the comments. Um, until next video.